Hello Bitsbrood, this is Craig from Bitsbox.co.uk here with another video in my Bretonian Army Log series. So it seems like forever since I last done one of these, but I'm glad to say I've got another one right here, right now, for you guys to watch. And yeah, in this one, I'm going to be 3D printing some miniatures um, to add to my uh, Bretonian force. So yeah, really excited for this one. So these miniatures are from Highland Miniatures, and they do lots of really cool stuff. Um, Lots of stuff which is really suitable for Bretonians, or just a generic sort of medieval knight style, which we know that um, Bretonians really are just a take on that. And we do a lot of other cool stuff as well. So definitely go check them out. I'll put a link in the description down below. And um, yeah, what's really cool is a lot of these miniatures do come pre supported, which is always nice. So yeah, I'm gonna hit the printer and get started. The ones I'll be using, the Medieval Heavy Cavalry. Uh, here we have the Command Squad, so there's like a Loot Player, uh, Champion, and a Bannerman. And I really like the Loot Player, I think he's really cool. Let me see what they look like when they'll be printed. So yeah, I really like them. And just love the detail on them, I think they're just superb. And yeah, for regular core troops as well. Again, lovely detail. Really love the helmets on them. I think they're Fantastic, and they all come pre-supported as well, which will make my life a lot easier. So yeah, let's get them to the printer. Okay, let's take a look. So, looks like, on first glance, that everything has printed fine. It's always nice when the miniatures come pre-supported. Um, you'd hope that there'd be no failures on the support. Um, one of the Sufa there um, did fail, but doesn't look like it was really needed in the end. Um, horse is beautiful. I'm going to get these tidied up. Everyone get them in shot okay there. So hard to film on these things in these awkward positions. But yeah, get that tidied up. The other one has about 20 minutes left on that, so we'll see that in a little while soon. Okay, so, there's the banner man, look at that banner. We'll have a better look at that later on. Really nice. Um, what's happened there? You can see that. But probably just a little bit floating around in the printer, probably just got stuck. Not good. Um, but, not effect on the print here. Um, beautiful, yeah, we'll get this tidied up. So, that's the banner man and the musician done. The champions now started printing. I'm not going to go through showing all the others. Um, in this manner, we'll be here all day. But yeah, um, I'll get these washed up, get the rest of the squad printers, and we'll take a look at them. So while the rest of them are printing, I'll show you the ones I've got so far. I shared these images on Instagram um, probably a while ago now by the time you watch this. Um, but all the focus. Really loving the detail in these. So yeah, really nice horses. Um, I really like the banner. Um, it's really thick, so which is good because um, its resin can be a little bit brittle sometimes. I'm um, not terrible, mind you, but. Lovely detail on there. Shouldn't be too difficult to paint either, which is nice. Oh, I really like this guy. So, pretty cool for a little musician. And a little lance here. So, so yeah, I'm going to print out four more. So I have a squad of eight. And I think next time I'm going to print like all the horses in one go and then all the little bits together. I should be able to do it in f three prints, maybe. Maybe four, but I think I can probably get away with just three. So yeah, um, hopefully by the end of today, I'll have a whole squad of these to go. Okay, so here everything is. Just about to get it all in shot. So eight horses, eight, eight riders. Um, I'm printing out two lots of shields. There's actually six different shields. So I should have 12. 
Um, but I must need to re-level because one side of the um, print just um, got stuck to a FEP. So I end up with eight shields printing, but that's fine. I think I don't even need that many. And not all of them will have a shield, I don't think. So there's seven heads, one's a champion, six regular, and then the musician's head is already part of him. Outside of a command, everyone will have a lance. So that means there's five of them. And then the three command miniatures have their own stuff. And then I've got some bases, just some GW bases that I'm going to put them on. So yeah, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get them all built up. And we'll compare them to some of the Bretonian miniatures and see how they sort of size up. And see how they look alongside them. Okay, so here they are all built. And I've got a regular Bretonian here to sort of compare size-wise. And that, you'll notice the banner guy's not here. He decided to fall off his base. Um... Yeah, one issue I do have with these is the lack of contact points on the base. So, for example, um, what I've had to do here is put like, a bit of... I um, just ran a bit of sprue to make a rock. Because only one hoof was really on the base. And that's an issue with a few of them. Which I really don't like. I don't see another one here that I've had to do the same thing. Front leg's just completely off for most of them. This one's not too bad. More like this would have been nice. I probably should have printed a couple more of that design. Um, this one's not too bad, you've got one of the front feet. So yeah, if you've got a couple of the feet um, touching the base, it's not too bad, but when there's only one, that's just never going to stay on there. Um, but yeah, here's a regular Bretonian. Now, of course, um, detail-wise, it's unfair to really compare them. I mean, these are nice quality resin miniatures, and this is a over 20-year-old plastic miniature, which really, um, considering how old it is, so I think it stands up pretty well. I do like these old Bretonians very much. So, yeah, size-wise they're pretty similar. These resin ones are slightly larger. But they don't really look too out of place in comparison. At least I don't think so. So, really nice. Um, some of them do have the shields on there still. You can see, like, little details sort of matching up to the originals. Um, obviously, these are probably loosely based on them. I mean, <clears throat> one thing Highland Miniatures do quite well is a lot of the older GW stuff in sort of that sort of look. They do some really cool sort of Blood Knights, um, which are really awesome. Um, and a few sort of stuff which is clearly um, meant for Bretonians, but they're so generic anyway, I think you just get away with it. I mean, Bretonians are just essentially just knights. So. Yeah, I mean, anyone who makes knights are going to make ones that look Bretonian at the end of the day. But you can sort of see what some of these companies are doing. Um, I've noticed a lot of them do sort of Tomb King style stuff, which would be quite cool to look into in the future. Um, so that's comparing them to a plastic one. Let's compare them to a couple of resin heroes. So you'll see these in a later video in the series, no doubt. I've got a damsel here. You can see she is very weedy. And um, I've got another guy here. He's not attached on top. Um, a bit of fluff on him. There we go. Um, yeah, in future videos I'll paint these up because these are just beautiful miniatures. They are a bit small, but they're beautiful. I love the damsel on horse. Now, Highland Miniatures do a damsel on horse. Um, I'm not sure if it's available yet outside of their Patreon um, at the time I'm filming. So these are just purchased off um, my mini factory, I think. But um, I think I might sign up to their Patreon and get more of their stuff because it's just amazing. Um, but I need to look into that. They, they do a nice one on foot as well, which I think is available. So I'll probably get some more stuff from them. I really want some men at arms, and I'm not sure if Highland do men at arms, but I have, I'm have. i sure I've seen another 3D printing company make some. So I need to look look around for them. So you might see them in a future video as well, but... Yeah, really. I just love the detail on these, but you can see size-wise, size these are a lot larger. But then these are quite small anyway, like even compared to the regular ones. Her horse is sort of a little bit smaller. Or a unicorn, I should say, in her case. So, that's just, that's just um, how these are. But the detail is just beautiful on them, so I'm really looking forward to painting them in the future. So you'll see them in a future video. I don't know whether to do a little painting tutorial for them, or just show them off. I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments what you'd actually like to see. But yeah, so um, what I'm going to do... Um, get these painted up. And I'll show them off at the end. 
and here is the finished cavalry squad. So yeah, um, really enjoyed um, painting these miniatures. I'm not someone who's really big on painting cavalry, um, but it's so nice using all the different colours. I apologise for focus is just all over the place, but yeah, I really like these. I just compared them to um, this miniature. Before you say, um, I've got a different cut on that now because it's been a while between the last update and this. Um, I've had them, even as filming this, I think I probably finished them a couple of months ago. And this video's been a long time coming. Um, but yeah, obviously the original one looks a little bit weedy alongside them, but not too, not too much smaller. Of course, um, being 3D printed, you could always change the size of these. Absolutely no reason why you can't. But I really like these um, size they are. And yeah, I enjoyed doing the different car schemes. And yeah, really happy with how they turned out. And they just give me um, some more cavalry to use in my Britannian army, so... Yeah, I probably wouldn't use a lot of 3D printed stuff. I may try and find some men at arms, because trying to get the actual plastic ones just seems very difficult um, at the moment, so... Maybe I'll do that, but um, I probably won't use a great deal, much more free print stuff, because I do like collecting the original Britannia stuff, and I've got um, a fair few that you haven't seen um, since my last update. I haven't built or painted them yet, but I've got some very um, interesting old Britannia miniatures, ones that you don't see very often, which I'm very excited to share in a future update. So yeah, this is a very slow moving uh, army sort of video blog, but it's nice to get the updates out now and then. But yeah, um, so this is this is no way sponsored by Highland Miniatures, but they do some great stuff. I highly recommend them if 3D printing is your thing, and you have a bit of nostalgia for the old sort of style of GW Miniatures, and and that they're clearly trying to tap into that niche, and I don't blame them. They do, they do a great job. I'm really happy with these. I love the little musician guy. I think he's my favourite. He's got a little loot. I really like him. And the banner's awesome. I just love the thickness of that banner. Um, that's a bit wobbly, but... That's a good chunky flag. I like that a lot. So yeah, I'm, I'm not going to ramble on any longer. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And if you have, um, please do feel free to give it a thumbs up. Now yeah, subscribe to my channel. If you want to keep up to date with all the videos we do and see more in this series, I'll try and get another one or two out this year um, in this series. And of course we do lots of other stuff as well. Um, painting videos, conversion videos, unboxings and whatnot. Um, you can see it all by clicking on our channel. And yeah, um, all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoyed this video then please feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. You can also click that bell icon to be notified when a new video has gone live on this channel. On the screen now are two more videos that you may wish to check out and a link to our Patreon page also. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.